Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is LB the Realist with Surrealistic Studios once again. And um, for those of us that uh, have been paying attention to what's been going on as far as this water crisis goes, as far as the war on water that the corporate elites are trying to wage on us, um, we know that the uh, um, the pipeline, the uh, you know the North Dakota access pipeline, well, it already started leaking. It, it leaked about 84 gallons of crude oil, so not a big leak, but a leak nonetheless, which is what everyone's been telling you that, look, pipelines leak. It's going to leak. It's going to leak. It's going to leak. And lo and behold, what happened? It leaked. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Exactly. Exactly. So um, we got this war on water that's going on. We got this water crisis in Flint, Michigan. Now, these people in Flint are being poisoned. 14 people died from Legionnaire's disease because their water was poisoned and these same people that are being poisoned are being forced to pay for poisoned water. Check this out, I just wanted to read this article. Uh, this was this was on May 19, 2017, uh, so a few days ago uh, from Workers World, Mundo Obrero, all right? Uh, Flint still resists water crisis. April 25th marked the third anniversary of the ongoing Flint, Michigan water crisis. Dependency on bottled water has become a way of life. Celebrity and charity donations have slowed. Flint is rarely in the media outside of Michigan, although there has been publicity around a movie about Flint's women activists that stars Queen Latifah. Interesting. Uh, yet, despite three years of genocidal neglect, Flint is still attracting new allies. On April 25th in 2014, the city's water department disconnected from De Detroit water sewage. Oh, I'm sorry, Detroit water and sewage, its providers for decades. Flint residents were unknowingly put in grave danger when the city began getting its water from the heavily polluted Flint River. People living in Flint noticed right away that their water had suddenly turned brown and had a foul odor. Complaints were repeatedly dismissed for more than a year until an independent research team, thank God, from Virginia Tech exposed elevated lead levels in the water. Pediatrician Dr. Mona Hanna Atisha warned that Flint's, water, Flint's children had dangerously high blood levels. Uh, blood, lead, uh, blood lead levels. This atrocity only came to light because of the persistence and diligence of activists, some of whom saw their own children display visible signs of lead poisoning. The lead poisoning occurred because the governor appointed emergency manager running this, wait, the lead poisoning occurred because the governor appointed emergency manager running the city decided to save money and not add anti-corrosive chemicals to the water. This is a routine procedure to prevent lead-based pipes from corroding and leaching lead into, and leaking leaching lead into the water supply the flint river water especially corrosive because of the pollutants that are that corporations primarily general motors dumped in the river for decades besides lead poisoning a whole generation of children the emergency manager's decision led to 12 deaths from legionnaire's disease Emergency managers can be appointed over a city or school district under Michigan's Public Act 436. This racist union-busting pay-the-bankers-first law was passed by the legislature in a slight variation on Public Act 4, which voters defeated in 2012. Some 50% of black Michigans have been under emergency management at some time, compared to only 2% of white residents. Although Flint has switched back to Detroit water, the water is still not considered safe to drink without a faucet filter, nor is lead nor is lead the only toxin that water consumers have been exposed to. Showering and bathing continue to cause skin rashes, hair loss, and breathing issues, and the state has done nothing to address those concerns. To, com to complicate matters further, researchers have recently determined that while filters block toxic metals such as lead and copper, they are breeding grounds for bacteria. It's taken this long for the right, the right wing legislature to, legislature to approve sending $100 million to the federal, in federal funds to fix Flint's pipes. The March 28th settlement of a federal lawsuit filed by the American Civil Liberties Union of Michigan and the Natural Resources Defense Council on behalf of Melissa Mays, the mother of three who, led, who leads Water U Fighting For, will bring another $100 million in state aid and restore delivery of bottled water and filters. Only militant activism forced the government to cough up any of this money. Meanwhile, the program to replace the lead services service lines is proceeding at a snail's pace with only 600 of 39,000 pipes switched out.
affordable. Flint households have some of the highest water bills in the country. A temporary credit extended by the state after Governor Rick Snyder's criminal role in the crisis became a ma major scandal has been terminated. More than 8,000 delinquent customers could lose their homes through tax for foreclosure because their water bill has been attached to their property tax obligations. Some have refused to pay for poison water, others simply could not afford the high bills. Flint is a majority black city with half of all households officially below the poverty line. From Standing Rock to Flint, water is life. Many of the resistors at Standing Rock, North Dakota are part of this new 16, uh, are part of the 16 new encampments that have been established across the country since the brutal eviction of water defenders there, including Camp Promise in Flint's Kearsley Park. Camp Promise was created, created after April 7th um, after some of our organizers went out to Standing Rock. While the organizers who stayed were also instrumental in drumming up local and online awareness and support from Michigan, explained Aylin Altanak, a Turkish water protector from Michigan who spent time at Standing Rock. Our goals are to bring a resolution for the Flint water crisis by conducting peaceful demonstrations, community service, etc., etc., while also providing a platform for third-party nonprofits and individuals to, to improve the quality of life for those living in the community. The camp has grown about 20 tents with about 30 campers. Supporters visit the camp on a regular basis. On May 12th, Camp Promise demonstrated outside City Hall to protest the decision to subject delinquent customers to tax foreclosure. A delegation from Detroit's moratorium now, a coalition to stop foreclosures, evictions, and utility shutoffs came to Flint. Ann Arbor activists were also there visiting. So. We got these camps that have been popping up all over the United States of America. Um, and one of them, as you just heard, was Camp Promise in Flint, Michigan. Um, I, think that that's, I think that that's great. Um, it's horrible that these, that these people are, are, are subject to, to these fucking pricks that are making them pay for poison water. Like, <laughs> this is the shit that we got to deal with and 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 this isn't the only place that the water is contaminated so um yeah i mean why <laughs> why do you have to fight for something that you shouldn't have to fight like water like clean water like all because you wanted to save money so you switch the water source to flint river Meanwhile, meanwhile, these people are not drinking this same water, right? Of course not. Only the poor people that can't afford to leave and pay their bills for poison water that they can't even use. So, yeah. Uh, there's been some great reporting done by Jordan from TYT Politics. Big ups to him for uh, staying on this Flint water crisis. And um, I'm going to do my best to stay on this story as well because often, more often than not, stories like this just don't get the, the light that they deserve and people just go uninformed. So with all, with all that being said, um, try to enjoy the rest of your day. Um, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, if there's any information that I left out, please uh, let me know. And you guys have a good one.